So in this video, we're going to be making our timeline more advanced. We're going to be enabling us to add likes to the timeline, just like on Twitter. So let's get started. So on our profile page, we already have everything we need to be able to like a post, but it's already on our profile page and we could copy and paste it onto our index page, but that would mean doing everything twice and we don't want to do that. So what we're going to do is create a class and we're going to create a new file and it's going to be called post. And we're going to create the class called post. And then what we're going to do on the profile page is we're going to move the logic that is specific to posting to this new post class. So if it's set post, that looks like it should belong in the post class. So what we're going to do is copy and paste this and we'll replace it with post create post. Then here on the post class, we're going to create the method. So we're going to say public static and we're going to paste that logic in there. We're going to take this variable out. We're going to call it post body. So the body of the post is going to be passed to this function. So we're going to copy that, take that out and move it back to the profile page, just like this. Back on the post, we're getting the user ID from login is logged in. So we're going to create a variable called logged in user ID. We're going to copy and paste that and store that in our profile page. And you can see we have a variable here called user ID. We want to pass that to our create post method. We'll call it profile user ID. And then up here, what we'll do is we will pass user ID to the function. So we want to make sure we have the post.php class included in our profile page. And then back on post.php, we don't want to include anything at the top of the page because the profile page will include it for us whenever it runs. And then finally, we just need to copy and paste profile user ID and then replace user ID with it. So we don't get any errors and we'll try and run that. So let's try and run it. Let's say hello world from post.php. We'll click post and you can see it posted successfully. So we've got some of our post logic into its own class now and we want to continue that with our likes. We could create a likes class, but because likes is specifically tied to posting, we're going to put it in the post class. So here when we check if is set post ID and we do the actual liking, what we're going to do is copy and paste that and replace it with post like post. And then back in our post class, we're going to create another function. And then here we want to pass post ID of the ID of the post we want to like. And we want to pass the ID of the person doing the liking. We'll call it liker ID. So here we just want to copy and paste post ID every time we see get post because that's what we're replacing it with. And we want to replace every occurrence of follower ID with liker ID, just like that. And then back on our original profile.php page, we want to pass get post ID as the post ID and we want to pass follower ID as the liker ID and we'll test that. So we'll click like and you can see it worked perfectly. Next, when we're displaying posts, we want to do that in our posts class. So we're going to copy and paste all of this and we will say post display posts, something like that. Back on our posts class, we're going to create another function and we'll paste that in there. And here we want to pass user ID, which is the ID of the page we're on. And we don't actually have to change much else in this. We have an occurrence of username. So we'll just pass in username as well. And then finally, what we'll do is we will return this posts variable, which contains all of our HTML and all of our posts. So we'll say return posts. Then back on this page, what we can do is pass in user ID and username. And we can say posts equals the return value of this method. And that means it should work exactly as it did before. If we refresh, okay, we have an undeclared variable on line 37. So we said follower ID. So what we want to do is change that to logged in user ID. And here we will just declare that. And then we get the logged in user ID. We want to go back to profile page and we want to get follower ID and we want to pass that to this function. So let's run that. And then everything seems to have worked as expected. So because we made our logic much more generic, it saves us some work on our index page. So if we go to post, you can see that when we display the post, we display the like button with it. So we're going to copy and paste this form and we're going to use that on our index page. So we're going to echo out this form and we want to change every instance of P to post. And we have a variable called username here. We don't need that anymore because we're posting from the index page. So we just want where post ID equals whatever the post ID is. And we want to call this index.php instead of profile. PHP. But of course, we're only selecting the post body and the post likes. We aren't getting the ID. So we want to say 
posts.id to get that as well. So now we have the ID column, we have the likes and we have the post body which we can post out. So we're gonna run this and you can see we have our like buttons and the like buttons correspond to the number of likes for that specific post. So what we wanna do is just move this above it like that. We'll get rid of the horizontal line after it. And now you can see the posts look much more like they did on our profile page and the number of likes are being retrieved from the database and we didn't need to do very much work at all. But of course, when we click on the button, it still doesn't work. So what we need to do is go to our profile page and where it says if is set post, we'll copy that and we'll paste that on our index page. And for follower ID, what we wanna do is change that to user ID. We have one more thing to do. We need to display the unlike button if the user has already liked the post. So we're gonna to go to our post page and we're just going to copy this query and paste it on our index page. And we'll surround that in this if statement. And what we're doing is we're checking if the post has already been liked by the user. So we get the post ID and then we get the user ID, which is user ID, the variable up here. And we're saying if they haven't liked it, we'll show this form. But the only thing we need to display differently is the unlike button. So we can copy and paste that if statement, change this, Paste the if statement in here, echo that out again. Close off the if statement, and then we can have another echo here. And now what we wanna do is just change that to an unlike button. So it saves us a lot of work. And uh, what I wanna do is include the post class here as well. And uh, we should be good to go. So if we run that, you can see we have the option to like all of these posts. If I click on like on one of them, there the number of likes have increased and it says unlike, I can click that and I will unlike the post. If I, for example, like this post at the bottom, you can see it just jumped up higher because its likes have increased. And now if I like the high code post, it jumps up higher as well. And if I like verified, it also moves to the top. So there we have it. We can now like posts on our timeline and we made a lot of our logic more generic, which means we can save ourselves a lot of work in the future. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. But that's it for this video and I'll see you next time.